What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, my name is Drakesy and welcome back to another Best Possible Squad Builder on the channel. Today's squad builder is obviously going to be the best Austria team, you'll know that if you've clicked the video. Today we're going to be running with the 4-1-2-1-2 formation on this team. And without any further ado, let's get straight into the team. Starting off the team in net, we have Ozkan, the 75 rated non-rare goalkeeper from Bayer Leverkusen. And as we can see, he's got some decent stats on the card, 70s pretty much across the board, uh, apart from his 52 speed, but goalkeepers never have that much speed. But yeah, not the best player, but a decent player to be starting off with. So next up we have Klein, the non-rare silver 73 rated right back. He plays for Stuttgart I believe in the second league for Germany. Um, so yeah, I think he plays in the Bundesliga 2. Uh, but as you can see, he's got some decent pace, 79 on his card, 72 dribbling as well and then another 70 on his physical. Not that bad but to be honest, not that good either. The right centre-back of this team is going to be Kevin Vimmer from Tottenham. As you can see, another non-rare card, 79 rated, non-rare gold that is, playing for Tottenham. Decent pace coming in at 67 pace, not the worst, not the best. And uh, all round some pretty decent stats, specifically looking at the 79 defending and 75 physical. Not the worst stats in the world, but 27 shots, thank God he's not a striker. The left centre-back of the team is going to be Dragovic. So as we can see, the first rare in the team so far. Uh, he's actually from Bayer Leverkusen, the same as the goalkeeper. So as we can see, they get a perfect link when playing together. But he's a 79 rated card, uh, some decent stats as well. 72 pace, not too bad. 65 uh, dribbling, which is still not too bad for a centre-back. And uh, 82 defence is his main start, along with 76 physical. So a very good card to be getting in the centre-back position. Just a bit of a shame he didn't get any upgrades or informs. Now we move on to the left back and as we can see it's the man, the myth, the legend, pretty much the guy if you're watching this video that you came for, it's David Alaba, one of the most versatile players in world football and as we can see he's got an 87 rated card, he's the joint highest rated player along with another player, I'm not going to say who that is, we'll see when we build up the team, but as we can see 87 rated left back playing for Bayern Munich, he's got an 86 pace on the card, 82 dribbling, 73 shooting, 83 defending, 81 passing and 73 physical. To be honest, in my opinion, I think that he would have a bit better physical than that because he is quite the robust player when you see him play. It's just a bit of a shame that he didn't get any upgrades. I don't know what kind of a year he had this year playing under Carlo Ancelotti. Um, but I thought he had a good year, so it's kind of a bit of a shock that he didn't get any upgrades. And it is a true shame with stats like that. Imagine if he did get an upgrade. Next, we move up to the centre defensive mid, and that is Julian Baumgartlinger. Baum, is it Baumgartlinger? I'm not too sure on the pronunciation of that. But once again, another Bayer Leverkusen player. This team is like basically just Bayer Leverkusen so far, as we can see. But he's a 79 rated, non-rare centre defensive mid, playing for Bayer Leverkusen. Some decent stats on the card as well, 73 pace, 70 dribbling, 77 defending and 84 physical on the card as well, which is incredible, incredible stuff. Now we move up to the right mid and as I did mention, there is another player that is 87 rated and that is going to be, I believe, either second or third in form for Analtovic. A very, very good card indeed. Right mid playing for Stoke. Uh, debatably, kind of better than Stoke as a, as a team overall. He's, 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 pretty, he's, he's, he's a pretty good rated player. I'm sure we'll all agree that. But looking at his card, he's got 83 pace, 90 dribbling, 87 shooting, uh, 87 passing as well, and then 88 physical. A lot of people call him a poor man zebra, but nonetheless, a very, very good player indeed and a fantastic card as well as that. 
Now we move on to the left mid position, and as we can see, that is a guy called Kynes. I'm not too sure if that's the correct way to say his name, but I'm going to call him Kynes for now. As we can see, he's a 75 rated left mid playing for Werder Bremen in the Bundesliga. Um, he's got a decent card, to be honest, for a 75 rated non-rare gold. He's actually got 86 pace on the card, along with 77 dribbling as well. Uh, but apart from that, his card kind of peters off. There's not much more going in that, but especially a stack, uh, the attacking stats aren't too bad. So we'll give that to him. Now we move on to the centre attacking mid, and that is Januzovic. I believe that is the way you would say his name. This guy actually comes out as a centre mid, so if you do build the team, you will have to convert him to a centre attacking mid. But he's an 82 rated in form, playing for Werder Bremen once again. Um, and look at some of the stats on this card. He's got 80 pace, which isn't the best, but he's pretty much got all 80s across the board. Uh, 83 dribbling, 80 shooting, 85 passing, 80 physical as well. And then 73 defending, which isn't too bad either. So now we move on to the right striker of the team, and that is Sabitzer. Sabitzer, I'm not too sure on the pronunciation of that. Sorry if I got it wrong, but as we can see, he's a 76 rated striker, a rare goal card, playing for RB Leipzig in the Bundesliga. And he's got some decent stats as well. 87 pace on a striker is incredible, 76 dribbling, and then 73 shooting. This guy's card, and then I've only just seen it as well, but 74 physical as well on top of that, guys. For a base card, that's not a bad card at all to be having. And to wrap up the team, the left striker of the team is going to be Bergstaller. Bergstaller, I'm not too sure on that once again. Sorry if I got it wrong. And as we can see, he's an 84 rated in-form striker card, playing for Schalke once again, another player from the Bundesliga. And he's got some decent stats as well, 80 pace, 80 dribbling, 85 shooting, and then uh, 75 passing, which is not too bad, but 88 physical on his card, guys. So that's going to be the roundup of the video. This is the best possible Austria squad in FIFA 17. If you have enjoyed this and you do enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel for much more content like this in the near future. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Drakesy, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. See you in a bit.